In this video, we will learn about body language. When you enter an interview room, it takes your interviewer only a few seconds to form an opinion about you. Before you even start talking, the interview has formed an opinion about you just by the way you carry yourself. Your body language and appearance are what help him form this opinion. So what exactly is body language? Body language refers to communicating without the use of words through your facial expressions, body movements, body posture, eye movement and gestures. Since body language reveals so much about who you are, it's important to portray a positive image to the interviewer. In this video, we are going to understand the different body movements from head to toe, what they convey and how to come across as confident, approachable and interested to your interviewer. Let's start with facial expressions. The expression on your face conveys your feelings and attitude. So be careful and keep the expression on your face happy. Smile. Smile in a subtle way. Smiling throughout the interview or smiling with your teeth showing completely looks like a forced and fake expression. Of course, you must smile wide if you need to, but not throughout. Eye contact. Make eye contact with the interviewer when you talk. This shows that you are confident, paying attention, and are able to understand what he or she is saying. Try to maintain eye contact for at least 80% of the duration of the conversation. Not making eye contact makes you come across as underconfident and dishonest. Body movements. What we do with our body, our arms, our legs, our fingers, etc. clearly indicates whether we are confident or nervous or unsure. When you enter the interview room, if the door is open, then just walk in. But if the door was closed, then remember to close it behind you. Close it neither too loud nor too gently. Wish your interview verbally and with a smile or nod of the head. Do not extend your hand for a handshake unless initiated by the interviewer. Be aware of what you are doing with your arms and legs. Keeping your arms crossed or one arm over the other could mean that you are tense or not easy to talk to. This is also referred to as closed body language. Keeping your hands in your pockets could leave an impression that you are casual. Keeping them on your side or in your lap is the ideal thing to do as it shows that you are willing to have a conversation. Similarly, sitting with your legs touching each other also reflects closed body language and could mean you are nervous. On the other hand, sitting with your legs crossed shows that you are overconfident. Avoid both of these and keep a slight distance between your legs. Body posture. A good body posture is important. Slouching makes you appear lazy or disinterested. Sit upright with your shoulders, neck and head in line with each other and show the other person that you are listening and interested. When standing, stand straight and tall. The head bent down shows submissiveness and lack of confidence, while the head turned upwards shows arrogance. Avoid both and keep your head straight. Gestures. Very often, we end up doing actions that we don't even realize we are doing. Some of these could be scratching our head, fidgeting with something that we have in our hand, biting our nails, biting our lip etc these gestures or actions could make us come across as nervous or disinterested so be conscious of your actions and keep your hands to your side or in the lap remember body language is crucial not only does it show whether you are confident or nervous happy or sad interested or disinterested honest or dishonest but it also speaks a lot about your attitude pay attention to your facial expressions make eye contact be comfortable with your body movements and let your interviewer know you are interested confident and honest and that you will show the same positive attitude and enthusiasm in your job 
Here is one last tip, not about body language, but about showing the employer that you truly have a positive attitude and approach. Never criticize or complain about your previous employer. Never. All the best.